Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. Appreciate y'all stopping by and checking us out. Uh, this video, we're going to talk about just overall fatigue and your your mental part of your training and how important it actually is. So um, when you first start and you get into it, there's a lot of excitement for change and a lot of excitement for things to come and where you're going to end up at. And a lot of times, it, it comes a lot slower than what you think it's going to come or what you would like for it to come. And then that could actually be like discouraging. So I know I've gotten there many times before where like you start seeing results, you start getting happy, and then all of a sudden you just stop seeing them. But if you stop to think about it, if you're looking at yourself every day in the mirror or you're trying to look at yourself every single day throughout the day, you're never going to see any change. But if you covered yourself up and stopped looking at yourself for like two weeks and then you looked at yourself, you'd probably see a significant difference in your body. But that's given if you're training hard enough and you're cardioing and you're dieting hard enough. Because if, you're, if your cardio is not on point, your diet's not on point, your training's not on point, and you're not making forward progress and you're not doing everything you can to move forward, you're not going to really be changing any. But if you are, and then you keep looking at yourself every single day, that's whenever it can kind of get a little discouraging because you're not going to notice your results. So just keep in mind, like if, if you're training and you're giving it everything you have and you're not seeing the results, they are coming and they are showing up. You may not be able to see them, but they are coming. It's one of those things that it just stacks up on top of itself a little bit at a time. And then eventually one day you just wake up and look in the mirror and then it's like, oh, okay, I see it now. But it's kind of hard to see it day after day. Yeah, like if you're constantly going to, check yourself every like every day or like every between every, each day like every half day whatever it is you're constantly looking in the mirror every chance you get kind of thing you're not going to really notice like the the small changes as they happen but if you give yourself time in between those changes like give yourself a couple of days a week or whatever it is those small changes add up to a big change that you'll notice a lot easier so like when you're getting down more towards the end of what you're trying to accomplish or whatever your your set goal at the time might be, the changes aren't going to be drastic and big dramatic changes more than likely. They're going to be smaller ones. So if you're focusing on stuff like that way too much, like it, it is going to get discouraging because you're not going to be able to see like that big like before and after kind of effect that you would like hope for um, at all times kind of thing. But I mean, th the changes are still there though. Like, so don't let things like that discourage you. Just keep, keep pushing, keep moving forward. And again, like try and just avoid like doing that whole every chance you get or like uh, every time you pass a mirror or whatever it might be, just like looking at yourself just to check to see like, God, oh, is this starting to come in yet? Or did this start going down or like those kind of things? And just give it a little bit of time, and like I said, you'll you'll get that bigger, dramatic, like, yeah, there it is, kind of effect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and the thing too is, like I said, like it's easy to get discouraged when you don't see the results coming day after day. But this isn't an overnight process. Like if you're out of shape and you're fat, you know, you didn't get out of shape and fat and gross overnight. Like I didn't become fat and gross overnight. You didn't become fat and gross overnight. You know, like like we were both extremely fat overweight and gross and then didn't creep up on uh, you know well, i guess it did creep up on us but you don't notice gaining all that weight and how fat you're getting how gross you're getting until you're there and then you're like you wake up one day and you're like oh my god i am so fat and gross and it's the same thing for losing weight getting in shaping and getting fit like it's not going to come overnight it's going to slowly creep up on you if you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing when you're supposed to do it, it's going to slowly creep up on you until one day you wake up and you realize, oh, hey, I'm in shape, you know. And then another thing, if you're one of those people that you need that motivation and you need to see the results to keep pushing and keep going, there's other tools out there besides the mirror, right? The scale is a tool that is a very good tool to use for monitoring your weight loss. But remember, with water weight, sodium, carbohydrate, humidity, uh, how much water you drink, how constipated you are, how loose your stool is, that can change day to day, hour to hour. If you're a female and you have a menstrual cycle or you're on your period or it's that time of the month, you have a spike of your estrogen, that could change dramatically day to day, hour to hour. So 
That's that's one aspect of a tool. Another one is you could do measurements. You could get like a tailor measure and you can measure your your arms, your stomach, your chest, your thighs, your calves, your forearms, your neck. Another form is you could get a fat caliber and you could pinch certain areas. Not, and then you could do this with like your body fat percentage or you could just do this overall. Like pick a spot on your body that's a trouble area. Your inner thigh, your love handle, the, the fat right under your arm, the fat on your shoulder blade. Just pick a couple areas and then measure out the thickness and density of it. And then next week, remeasure those areas and see if it's going down. And then figure out where your body's taking the fat from because it may not be taking it from the mirror muscles where you can see when you're looking in the mirror. It might be taking it from your thighs, your calves, your back, your lower back, your neck. There's a lot of places you could take it. And that caliber can help you determine where your body's pulling the fat from. And it can kind of help keep you motivated to move forward. Same thing for a tape measure or a scale. The mirror, looking in a mirror and are seeing veins, your pants getting looser, your shirt's getting looser, are your sleeves and your arms getting tighter. And we're talking about losing weight right now, but this also goes for gaining weight as well too. For those of you gaining, trying to put on muscle mass, it's the same thing. Just just flip the intention and it's the same basic thing. If you look at yourself day after day, it's going to be very hard to see those results. But when you have family and friends you haven't seen in five, six months, then they see you and like, wow, man, you lost so much weight or wow, man, you got so muscular. Oh man, you're a lot bigger. Man, look how small you got. Like like it, that could be very encouraging too. Whenever those people see you, because you may not see it. Another thing is taking pictures. You could take pictures every single week at the same time, at the same place with the same lighting. That's also a big thing to help kind of help you see the progress. And you may not see it week to week, but go back four weeks and then compare it or go back four months and then compare the pictures all the way around pictures. And you'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it, you know, and that helps keep pushing you forward and stuff. So like I said, it, it is a big mental game, especially when the hunger kicks in and you're just looking at yourself like, I'm not seeing it and I'm feeling the hunger, but I'm not seeing the results. This is, this is kind of like, you know, kicking me in the teeth right now. And I, I think I'm about to, to throw the towel in. Yeah. For me, like the, like in my weight loss journey right now, the, the scale is a big thing for me. Like I, I weigh myself probably two times a day. Like I weigh myself first thing when I wake up. And then after I get home from work before working out, I kind of weigh myself again to see where I'm at sort of thing. Like uh, with some of my food intake and stuff, just to kind of know, like keep a better track of like how I'm doing. So, but uh, but yeah, like I, that's just what I like to do. Like with doing weight loss, I've, I've never really been a big, like, uh, picture or mirrors kind of person. Uh, like in my for for myself kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I just I rely on the scale a lot more, and that's what works for me. But I'm able to see my results, and also I kind of like in doing it daily, or like on my own like kind of set regimen. I know, okay, like my weight's at this now, like after work, after eating, so my meal's okay, like that's an average like bump right there. So I like, and then in the morning, I know, okay, I'm averagely down about this much and I kind of am able to follow that. So if something were to kind of go off, I notice it a little bit easier going like, okay, that's a little bit higher today. Like, what did I change? What did I do different? Did I miss something sort of things? And that allows me to uh, like kind of, backtrack in my mind like did I do something different or did something happen did I miss something and like kind of helps me steer back on track or whatever might be the issue sort of thing yeah and, and that's the thing I, I, I pretty much do the same thing I weigh myself every morning right when I wake up and then I weigh myself right after I get out the shower every single day and the scale is normally really consistent um, of course it's up in the evening versus the morning but every single day it's consistent so I, I'm I know like what you said like if if the weight has a dramatic drop or a dramatic increase, then I know like, okay, well, you know, what was the cause? And a lot of times if there's a huge increase in weight, I could trace it back to salting my food or, or salting my beverage and then drinking more water because I might have been excessively thirsty that day or I might have been excessively dehydrated that day. There's been times that I was backed up and my weight was up like two pounds because I was backed up. And then once I got that you know, to start moving again and I had a good bowel movement while my weight was back down. So it's a lot easier to identify issues or like watch and monitor your weight and know like, okay, well, something's up. This isn't normal. And then even if you have a cheat meal or you have a cheat day and depending if you're, and when I say cheat day, I don't mean go off the rails. Okay. So the, the cheat day thing, like if you're going to have a cheat day, my advice to you is if you normally get 2000 calories a day, it's fine if you don't eat nothing on your diet plan for that day, but you better keep your calories where they're at, right? So if you're going to eat 2,000 calories 
like every single day for your diet. When you go on a cheat day, monitor your calories to keep them at 2,000. It's going to help you in the long run. I, I mean, and a lot of people are like, what a cheat day, let alone a cheat meal. And, and some people need that. And that's fine if you do. But try to keep your calories exactly where they are on the days that you would normally diet. And that's going to help you with leaps and bounds as far as it goes for staying on your progress. But doing something like that, if you get an excessive amount of salty food with high carbohydrates, your weight is going to spike dramatically, probably sometimes six pounds, seven pounds for how much water your body's going to retain. But again, that's where monitoring yourself and, and everything kind of comes into play to kind of help you understand what your body's doing and how much body your how much water your body can retain and drop. And, and you start learning yourself by doing this. But like I said, what this all this is about, kind of get a little detoured here, it's just, you know, whenever it doesn't feel like the results are coming, just you know, remember this doesn't happen overnight. This is something that creeps up on you and it is easy to get discouraged, especially when you're feeling hunger. And I think hunger is probably the biggest, uh, di- uh, uh, loss, my, my train of thought there for lack of a better term. I think it's the big deterrent of sticking to your, your progress and your plan. And then right behind that is fatigue and feeling tired and exhausted. And I think the tired and exhaustion comes from a lack of sleep and sodium, and that also goes into making you feel more hungry the less sleep you get and the less sodium you get. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, if I just continue, like, doing, like I said, my my checks every day that I've been doing, like, I'm I'm moving in the right direction like I want to. My weight's coming down at a, a decent amount each week. Like, I'm looking forward to it to continue doing. So, like, my, my journey's going well at the moment, and I'm glad about that. And I, like... I'm going to continue seeing the progress I want to see, which is good. So if I can keep on that, that kind of road and bearing, I think fairly soon, like into the year ish, I'm, I'm going to like, there is going to be a, a very huge difference from where I started at, at the beginning of this 12 week journey that we're on right now to the beginning of next year. And I'm going to be able to kind of look back on that just to myself and go like, yeah, like that, that was a lot of work put in or whatever, but it was well worth it kind of thing. Yeah, I know. And I'm at the end of October, I'll be at six months since I started doing this to lose weight and get in shape and everything. And looking back to five months ago till now, it is a massive, I started May 8th. So this, the 8th of uh, October will be literally five months. So, and then I've made a dramatic difference in my frame and shape and it is motivating going back and looking at other videos and other footage and, and pictures, you know, so it definitely helps motivate, but I think that's going to be it for me on this one. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for me tonight. Is there anything else you want to add? No, sounds good. All right. Well, hey, guys, appreciate you watching and uh, staying this long. If you made it to this part of the video, if you have, if you want to go and leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't yet, that's great. If you don't want to, don't do it. It's your choice. No pressure. But we would appreciate it if you did. And if not, like I said, keep on keeping on. All right. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Check you later.